Who said? Do you know anybody that says potato? No. Do you yeah, think Gavin either. says potato? <laughs> no, I don't think so. No, he says chips. Yeah, but right. But are you sure? We, we here's what we have to do. We have to ask him, but we can't say it first because it could yep, influence yep. it. So okay, we have so to say we, like. Okay, hang on. I, like, I have a cute. So what? We're doing potato <laughs> too, or are we just doing tomato? Let's do potato, tomato, and okay. clamato juice. Okay, so <laughs> okay. do you want me to load up images? You want me to get these I, ready? I got them. I'm oh, you got them? them? Okay, cool. I just oh, yeah. oh sure. that's oh, even better. Them. I was just going to oh. be like, all right, so we're thinking You're of, a, gonna a, describe of a brown cylindrical so thing that grows You're in the so, ground. so dumb. <laughs> they make french fries okay. out of it. How do you say go. that? Brown cylindrical thing? Like we're playing fucking pyramid or whatever that game is. Turn up. Oh, yeah, what's his other word for... R what r rhubarb, or he has like a different word for what? something like that. He has different words for everything. Grip. It's a different. Yeah, Grip. he has different I, words. I know for what you mean. It was a crazy. He has different words for pickles. What's the word for it? Rump. What was the? What's the? I don't word? remember. It was insane. It was a crazy word. There he is, Gavin. We have uh, we have some important questions for you. Uh, yeah. Okay. Hey, what's start. up, Gavin? Okay, I'm gonna show you an image <laughs> of something. Yeah, and you're gonna need to tell me how you say it, okay? That's all. Okay. You just have to say is. it. The first thing that thing. comes to mind. Here's the first thing. What is this person wearing? What is that? Tomato. Okay. Wow. Okay. Okay. Save your comments. What is this? What would this item be? Potato. Ooh, okay. I like this. I'm nailing this. Okay. And the last one. What is this? Clamato. <laughs> have you ever heard of that before? No. It's clam and tomato juice put together. Oh, Jesus. Ugh. It's very popular among certain circles. But you and you would say yeah, that. I, I fucking knew Nick would like it. <laughs> of fucking, course. It's so fucking gross, well, Nick dude. likes everything but cucumbers. Clamato Wait, so juice is so this. fucking gross. You're drinking clam? Uh-huh. <laughs> well, not just clam. It's also mostly There's also an Edo in there. Yeah, yeah. It's, uh, it's, for, it's for making like a michelada. If yeah. you have ever had like a michelada. Mm-mm. It it w what it is is like a tomato you know like a V eight kind of situation where it's tomato juice and then it's also um, clam broth I think and then uh, you know a bunch of salt and bullshit yeah. and then you mix it with like a Bud Light. So as a broth, you just throw a bunch of a thing in there with water and boil it, and then whatever comes out, that's broth. Yeah, pretty. That I mean, broth? yeah, that's yeah. pretty much it. I think you have to reduce okay. it a little bit, but not much. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You should probably introduce the episode, Jeff. Hello, and welcome to another episode of the F Face Podcast. My name is Jeff Ramsey. With me, as always, Andrew Panton and Gavin Free. We're going Nick Nameless today. This is episode 162. Whew. What if that was Nick's no nicknames. last name? Uh, nameless? <laughs> nameless. <laughs> Nick, can you change your last name to Nameless so you can be Nick Nameless? <laughs> oh, let's do it. Nick Nameless. Nick Nameless? Is there a profession... What do you think the profession of Nick Nameless would be? I absolutely know what it is. <laughs> oh. He's, uh, he used to, be, oh, fuck, this is awesome. Nick Nameless used to be a lawyer, but he got disbarred, and now he works as a private investigator. I was about to say P.I. Straight out. 100%, 100 right his, his hard his specialty, specialty, noir detective. And <laughs> this, isn't, this isn't Nick at all. I'm not describing Nick here. I'm describing Nick Nameless. But Nick Nameless <laughs> is just such a, like, forgettable dude that you, he's like the guy that you like, you meet him and he introduces you and you forget his name before you're done shaking his hand. And so he's able to just infiltrate shit and blend in. And that's how he like, that's how he solves crimes. Is he wearing a trench coat and a hat as you picture him? Yes. Yeah, me too. As a young man, he is. Yeah. I think Nick Nameless gets a little off the edges as he gets older. I think he goes a little unstable. I'm imagining like Gene Hackman in Enemy of the State Oh. Uh, for like older Nick Nameless. Like that's his trajectory. Living in a wire house with a cat is sort of the, the <laughs> wow. end game of Nick Nameless. I kind of like the later Nick Nameless books, I think. The ones where he's he's in that Gene yeah. Hackman era. Where he's, it's not as exciting as his like Jack Ryan days, but he's like, it's a lot more of a thinking man's Nameless, you know? Mm -hmm. And he's got to, as his yeah. body's breaking down, he's got to really use his wits and his experience. He sounds like uh, an exciting character in a TV show, and around like the episode 20 mark, he'd have to put his full legal name on some paperwork, and it'd be exciting. <laughs> you'd, you'd see like Nicholas Nameless written, and you'd be like, ooh... <laughs> We've never seen this side of him before. <laughs> um, speaking of Enemy of the State, we had a state draft, which uh, <laughs> was recent. That's a and, fucking uh, segue. <laughs> yeah, well, it's speaking this. I watched Enemy of the State. <laughs> we had a state draft, 
and I watched, I felt really bad about it. I watched Enemy of the State as prep for that draft, and I didn't pick it. <laughs> I had never seen it in its entirety. It should have been uh, potentially my fourth round pick. Oh, okay. I felt like I missed out. Have you guys, when was the last time you watched Enemy of the State? I've never seen it. Uh, You've in never the theater. seen Enemy of the State? It's a great movie. About two weeks ago. Oh, wow. Two, you watched Enemy of the State two weeks ago? I was on a plane coming back. Uh, oh, and yes. uh, it was on, and I went, let's do it. And uh, I Enemy it. of the State is the movie that spawned the whole zoom and enhance meme, right? Yes. Oh. Like, so why is everyone to... why is everyone suddenly watching it? Did it come out in the, in the summer of 98 or something? <laughs> Shit, did it? Uh, probably, oh. probably not. No, it's 99. Uh, yeah. It came out in 99. Wow, it's pretty, so no, close. Enemy it's of the close. State, 98. Hell really? yeah. yeah. Enemy of the State, 1998. Dude, wow. the coincidences Thanks, with this podcast. Oh my incredible. God. <laughs> Dude. That's so good. Oh 1998. Do Holy we have a release shit, date Gavin. for when it was in theaters? I just was wondering why, why it's it so in like right now. Movie. Wow. Um, the thing that got me with that movie is that it has a bunch of little freaky weirdos in it. And they're Jamie <laughs> Kennedy, Jack yeah. Black, Barry Pepper, like uh, 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 was Seth Green. Seth Green. Mm. It's mm -hmm. so bizarre. Oh, it's a Tony yeah. Scott movie. Yeah, yeah, I think yep. you'd really like it, Gavin. It's a good movie, very man. unnecessarily stylized. Uh, it's um, so, it's way too much. It's way too much. It's way too much. The technology is, is absurd. I'm glad you watched it so recently, Eric. I It was a movie that I saw parts of in my childhood a lot, but I never sat down and watched the whole thing. I watched it. I've never seen a movie have such a forced last act. Like, the thing that causes everything to fall apart in the last act is completely unnecessary and random and makes no sense and is brush it off. It's a wild watching experience. Do you think there was some scenes cut that would make, make, make no I, sense? No, I don't. I just don't think the script, like, they, they didn't know how to... They put the characters in a position that they didn't know how to get them out of, so they just had one character do something completely irrationally for no reason and cause, like, the entire last act to happen. It's great. You would really like it, I think. I think it's, it's I think you'd have a movie. I think you'd have a pretty good time. It's, I'll give it a go. It's pretty funny. It, there are parts things just kind of happen in the movie, and Andrew's right. They don't know how to get people in and out of stuff, so things happen <laughs> for no reason <laughs> uh, and poorly. And you go, yes, okay. The okay. thing that causes like all of the issues of the third act, you watch and go, oh, he planned like there must be a broader plan yep. to what he's done because this makes no sense at all. None. And then it's just no. They're just, he's like, why did you do that? And he's like, oh, I, you, I know you told me not to. Oh, <laughs> Wait, which it. movie oh. plot do you think is the most easily avoided like in a, in a film, like a, a movie plot where it's like, oh, they could have just done this and it would have been it would have been done. Can I, can I tell you one that immediately popped into my brain, but I don't think it's the yeah. answer? But my first thought, no country for old men. Got a 50% chance of absolutely nothing happening. <laughs> That's a great. That's, That's pretty thought. good. That's pretty good. Um, my, my guess would have been like, uh, Die Hard 2. Uh, they could have just sent all the planes to another airport. <laughs> <laughs> totally avoidable movie plot. There was no reason that they were all circling and running out of fuel. I think the weather was uh, too bad or something for them to go anywhere else. Maybe there was a storm. Mm. That's a movie I've seen relatively recently that I couldn't tell you a single detail about outside. Somebody gets stabbed in the eye with a thing of ice. That was crazy. Die Hard 2 <laughs> is such a forgettable film. It is. Yeah. The only bit I usually remember is that they like reset the ground level on the plane. So they think they're higher than they are and they just crash into the ground. I was uh. I was a kid when Die Hard and Die Hard 2 came out, obviously. Uh, and I was so fucking excited about Die Hard 2 because Die Hard 1 hit so hard in America. Mm -hmm. It was such a big deal. And it was such a fucking letdown. It was definitely one of those like <laughs> early sequel letdowns that I experienced in my life. Yeah, it's got like real sequelitis where uh, John McClane is just doing an impression of himself in the first yeah. movie. Yeah, but it's real Ace Ventura 2. Yeah. <laughs> Which is interesting because then Die Hard 3 comes back and is the... I, I would argue it's a little long if you go back and watch it now, but one of the best movies ever, let alone uh, one of the best Die Hards. Die Hard 3 is so fucking good, and then 4 is, is so good, and then it just goes to shit. 3 is mm. good. Again. I like 3 a lot. Uh, 1 and 3, I think, are really great movies. Yeah, it's it goes crazy, right? Like the, I feel like kind of the appeal of Die Hard 1 is that he's sort of a grounded hero, 
Like he's not. There's nothing too crazy in my memory of Die Hard. One. He's mainly crawling around in vents, yeah, shooting dudes. In terms of like at least action movie logic, he's very grounded. And then by the time you get to Die Hard Four, he literally rides like a jet in motion. <laughs> yeah. yeah, and then, and then it's, at it's some point, point is it five? He's fighting Russia by himself. To save his <laughs> yes, son. I never saw five, but it's him and his son taking on all yeah. of Russia. Which is the one where state. he reverses a police car into a helicopter. Yeah, that's or four. a cab or something was it? That was so awesome. That's four. Yeah, yeah. That was so awesome. With Justin Long uh, <laughs> through a car at a helicopter. My my answer is North by Northwest, a movie that I love and despise. Was that Hitchcock? I, <laughs> yeah, I hate mistaken identity movies, mm. and that is a movie that has the weakest mistaken identity at like near the beginning, and then the rest goes down this insane <laughs> path where if he would have stopped and gone like I'm I'm actually I'm I'm not I'm George Kaplan. <laughs> I'm not Thornhill and that's it. it they, like the it's so bizarre and it happens with like for no reason and it just keeps going. Nobody stops and asks a question. They just go, got to keep chasing this guy and it <laughs> makes me crazy. I can't watch it again. You know what? I'm going to I I think that's a great one and I'm going to piggyback off that for mine. I'm going to say I'm going to use Alfred Hitchcock as well. I'm going to do Rear Window. Just shut the blinds. Just mm. shut the blinds. Just stop looking. Watch that TV. <laughs> Just turn on the TV. <laughs> that, that doesn't solve Vertigo. The I'll do Vertigo. I'll do Vertigo as well. Uh, don't climb stairs. Yeah. Quit, <laughs> quit being in San Francisco, dude. Go somewhere else. Yeah. <laughs> well, I don't think that it counts if the if the reason is drive away from the movie. <laughs> I mean, Psycho. Don't stay at that hotel. <laughs> That's like. Uh, have, do you guys remember Call of Duty Two? Uh, Modern Warfare Two. Yeah, there was the little Easter egg in it when uh, if you know how you, you have to the first level is always the introductory level where you have to run through the, the training course and mm -hmm. you try to get like the gold time in that one. The the general who ends up being the bad guy in the reveal spoil in the it's Call of Duty 2, man. <laughs> it's already been remade and then restoried as a different story. It's so fucking old. There have been 86 Call of Duties to come out Spoilers. since then. Spoilers! Uh, the general who ends up being the bad guy who you find out in like level 6 or 7 when you have to defend that house and then he shows up and starts shooting people after you fucking save it, uh, which is an awesome Wait. level in a video game. Call of, you mean Modern Warfare 2 or Call of Duty 2? Modern Warfare 2. Yeah, okay. like Shepard or whatever his name was. Yeah. Uh, I thought you were talking the Call of Duty, like the old, like the World War II Call of no, Duty. No, no, no. Sorry, Modern Warfare 2. Uh, but not the Modern Warfare remastered new one that's all different. Yeah, um, yeah the original Anyway, Modern the general <laughs> is standing above you, like, giving you instructions as you're learning how to go through. And if you just turn around mm -hmm. and shoot him, the game ends. <laughs> yeah, that's great. <laughs> Games where you can you just end They, it they let you kill him in the first 30 seconds of the, of the game, <laughs> if you want to. That's kind of like Shadow Complex did something similar, I think, too. Like, if you just wait. I think there's a way to do that in Far Cry 4 and 5. Maybe. Yeah, I think three? you just stand still remember. on it, doesn't Yeah, in 3, you just, just sit yeah, at the table or whatever. Nick wrote the line, the witch yeah. in the wardrobe, they could have just not gone through the wardrobe. <laughs> <laughs> Great movie. Thelma and Louise, just don't go dancing. <laughs> Stay home. Don't go dancing. That changes everything. Is there dancing in Thelma and Louise? Yeah, they go out dancing to blow off steam and then... She ends up, Thelma or Louise, I can't remember which one, ends up dancing with a dude who they end up uh, kind of flirting and stuff. And then he tries to rape her and the other one kills him. And then that's what sets the cops after them and uh, the whole police chase thing. Oh, Jesus. Okay. I, am, I, I have zero awareness of what that is outside of the ending of that movie. Mm. Yeah. The reason that they d drive off the cliff together is because they're being chased by a bunch of dickhead cops because. Uh, Whoa, spoiler. Oh my god! Yeah, you're right. I shouldn't. I shouldn't <laughs> it's gonna be. You're right. Oh, this episode. You're absolutely right. You're, just gonna, you're gonna needle Jeff to death. This is really exciting. <laughs> what what character is the spoiler guy, Gavin? Who are we talking to right now? Every time you interject, is, is it's Nick Nameless? Move? He's is so this, busy. He's yeah. so busy on the cases. He doesn't have time to watch TV. That was definitely an arrow call out. I, I by the way, I noticed um, something popped up on my uh, YouTube thing, and it was like an old "Does it do?" And I, I realized. In Does It Do, I'm a, I'm a combination of Errol and Stuart. <gasps> Definitely. <laughs> Absolutely. That's You're like I'm the channeling. worst of both of those dudes. Hey, I'm the, <laughs> we haven't had Eric on since, uh, since he met Stuart. I briefly touched on it last week. 
about how much uh, he hated Stuart. What were your thoughts, sir? I haven't, I haven't heard the episode, so I'm not sure what you guys have talked about. I've gotten the notes, sort of like the blow by blow here and there. Just so but, you wanted to get away from me, and uh, I didn't even really have to do anything. I was just like raising my hands and like making like grabbing motions <laughs> as if I was about to touch stuff, and you were like, "This sucks. Get away from me, Andrew." <laughs> It is yeah. like you're at the store and you are, we're just trying to find our stuff. It's, you're just at the store. And then all mm -hmm. of a sudden I didn't realize it was Gavin when it, when it first happened. And then it was just getting bumped into and somebody reaching in and like knocking <laughs> stuff over. And I had like a moment of panic of like, what is, what's going on? What's hap <laughs> What's at the grocery store? What's happening to me right now? And then oh. I noticed who it was and what was happening. And I never want, <laughs> I never want to see him again. Misery at the grocery store. Do you do that to Meg? You don't do that. She'll, she'd kill you, right? Oh yeah. I tried it once and she, she hated it. Yeah, it's fucking, <laughs> ugh, it like, it is like, cr it's cringe inducing, but not in the way where it's like, oh, online cringe. It makes you physically recoil <laughs> because there is someone that's just in your space knocking stuff over and you're like trying to save everything. Oh, it's the worst. Oh, it's you, the worst. It's so bad. You can Ooh. physically see Eric's skin crawl in the moment. Oh, oh he did it. You know, you've got you display such a level of maturity that I, I I'm jealous and, and 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 a little bit in awe of Gavin. Like when you say you did it to Meg once and she hated it. I would have done it to Meg once and then she hated it. And then that would have been the reason to do it until she eventually left me. <laughs> <laughs> and I think it's so, it's so mature. And I just, I'm really, it's a, I'm, I'm impressed because I don't, I don't, I don't have that thing that you have. And I, I wish think what I it is, is I don't really want to push people's buttons, but I think it's smart to find out what they are. Ah, evaluation. I don't need to be pressing on them though. I want to press like somebody's it. button so hard it breaks. <laughs> well, yeah. Uh, You've succeeded multiple times. <laughs> <laughs> Just imagining having to fill out the reason for separation in that context. <laughs> it's, 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 it's fucking it's Stuart. Stuart. <laughs> it's Stuart the bumbling Stuart. customer. <laughs> and the lawyer's like, I'm sorry, I don't understand this. And you're like, let me explain. <laughs> Gavin has personas. Look at this. And I don't like, I don't like number two. I mean, just tell him to do it to the judge right then, and he would he'd, he'd oh understand God. whatever it is you need. <laughs> like I'm fumbling his gavel all over the place. <laughs> One of my notes just says wowed by Smeg, but I don't really know what I was, oh, was talking about. Oh, I, I, I don't know what that was. That well, was, was a, a part of, it yeah. is, at the birthday, uh, yeah. at the birthday lunch. Yeah. Oh, yeah, where we left off, you guys were going to medieval times. How was that? Oh, yeah, it's... So we had a like a three day period there where we had a we had a a Dallas birthday weekend and then the guys came over and then Vanessa also came over Superman Vanessa on my birthday and then there was a an attempt to get my Gems of War achievement as well it was like a whole big oh! insane a lot of stuff happened in a couple of days holy shit uh so we went to medieval times it was uh, it was me and Emily and Millie and uh, Super Fan Jack and or Major League Fan Jack and his wife Katie and then Gavin and Meg and then uh, Super Fan Vanessa and, and her husband Bernie and I I have never once wanted to go to medieval times in my life mm. and I have got to say I was wrong medieval times yeah. is awesome mm hmm. It is so much fun. We spent like three hours there and time fucking <laughs> flew by. <laughs> it was so cool. They're like lancing each other and the woods exploding and the shit going everywhere. And I was thinking the whole time, Gab, I wanted to, I, you had to take off the next day so I didn't get to talk to this about you. But I was watching it and it's like, there's like six knights that f fight against each other and then they put you in a section of the, a color coded section of the uh, arena and then that's who you fight for. Um, and so who were we? We were Yellow Knight, right? We were the, yeah. the Piss Knight. Yeah. Uh, and <laughs> so we were like the Yellow Knight team. We were fighting for the Yellow Knight. He didn't win. But the whole time, like with the raucous audience screaming and the, the performers taking it so seriously, I realized, I bet the horses have no idea they don't live in medieval times. Because <laughs> they live on site. There's like 24 horse stables and there's 24 horses and the horses live on site and they do all their training there. So for the entirety of the time a horse lives there, it thinks it's in night shit. It thinks this is real. Because how would yeah, it know? How does a horse differentiate anything? Yeah. 
It's just got a bloke on it. What is, is it? Is he, do you think the horse is taking note of the attire? I think a horse realizes the difference between like a car and a and a fucking a knight in metal but armor. They bring in horses like like I don't think they're breeding horses necessarily. And just no, listen, they I'm telling you from the outside world. You think they time traveled? No, what they I, think? I, no, I don't think the horses understand time travel. I think the horses think they live in that period. The horse, <laughs> the horse knows its surroundings. It knows what's around. I don't around. think the horse. I think the horse that, period. I think a horse. I think it's all just one thing. No, isn't it? I think a horse that is like a police horse where the cops patrol downtown Austin on has an incredibly <laughs> different view of the world than a horse that only lives in medieval times and thinks that people fucking fight each other with swords all night long. I think that's ridiculous. And it's the same as if you were just out in the open and someone showed you a horse from 2023 and then someone also showed you a horse from the 1600s. You wouldn't be like, whoa, I must be in the 1600s. You're just looking at two horses. What? No, horse- I, I agree with I agree with Jeff. I what? think that the, I think the horse's perception perception of things is weird. Here's here's I why just- I agree. Here's why I agree. Because the movie Planet of the Apes was filmed, and you have to think those horses don't know what the fuck is going on when the monkeys are riding the horses and attacking the people. Totally agree. Totally so agree. They, they must have a toy. And if you showed those horses and had them talk to the medieval times horses, completely like weird perspectives. They'd be so like, I what, is your, what is your world like? And they're like, no, it's, it's, it's insane. <laughs> it's the first time anyone has ever said, I think somebody's right, and here's why, Planet of the Apes. <laughs> That's never happened. That's never been used as an argument before. I bet it, I bet it will first. be from now on, going forward. Yeah, all I agree. Me and Jeff are right, so it's Yeah, cool. I agree. Yeah, well, Those horses think they live in olden times. I well, I don't think they know times. No, well, that's, that's my main that's issue. my point. Is that they they can't recognize the difference between different types of humans as we were different horses from different periods. I think you're underselling a horse's intelligence. What was crazy to me is that two of the six knights were, <laughs> were fans. Oh, community oh wow! Yeah, yeah, they knew who we were. It was great. One Wait, of them, which colors? One of the yellow yellow piss knight gave me a rose. Oh, that was that's sweet. Great. Give yeah. you a I feel like I'm represented there too. That's nice, dude. <laughs> it's like I was there. We saw so many horses take so many dumps, dude. The, the, uh, f- <laughs> the first, we sit down. All the horses get intro. It's like, hey, hey, hey. and then uh, just around the time it's all starting, the <laughs> the soup course gets brought out, and it's all like very rustic. You like eat with your hands and sip out of a bowl, sort of stuff. Mm. And uh, we we were all as our starter treated to a lovely bowl of tomato bisque with giant wafts of horse shit. The second the bowls landed on the bench in front of us, oh. the Yellow Knight's horse oh. took like Who was- 16 dump balls right in front of Jeff. Like oh. right was This sick. horse was maybe five feet away from us. Like we were in the front <laughs> row. Oh. And, the, and the knight just like looked back at all the turds coming out and just like patted the horse. Like, like oh, good boy. <laughs> like, good boy. Yeah. What can you do? Oh, I feel like that would ground me in the moment, though. I kind of that's what you want in that medieval experience. That was a real medieval experience you just had. It was uh, by far the worst soup I've ever had. <laughs> and, it, and it would taste <laughs> tremendous. But the experience, the, the smell really, really <laughs> soured the meal. <laughs> but yeah, very authentic. Loved it. That's fantastic. It's uh, it's wild. They were telling us that one of the dudes that worked there has been working there for 25 years as a knight. Oh, wow. Is it random? Do you know, like, who wins, who loses? They work How it out ahead of time, term? and they rotate. Okay. He hasn't I gotten see. promoted to king 25 years? It's one of those things where you become too good at your job. That's like, it's just like how Tom Cruise couldn't get promoted in, in uh, uh, the Jet movie. What's that movie called? <laughs> Day, <laughs> Days of awesome. Plane Thunder. Top Gun? <laughs> Top Gun. Uh, there you go. Yeah, it's just like how Tom Cruise could never get promoted in Top Gun. He was too good as a, as a fighter pilot. That's all he wanted to do. Maybe the knight just wants to defend the realm. There's also someone outside of the arena who was kind of telling people where to go and stuff, but in, you know, an in-character voice, doing the old, like, old-timey knight voice. And uh, he came up and said he was a listener as well. And I was like, oh, you listen to him? <laughs> face? And it's just so weird so watching someone in all that old-timey garb just snap at a character and be like, oh, yeah, love face. It's great. <laughs> there's, like, kids around. It's so funny when people do that. <laughs> there's no there's no pg way to talk about our podcast no so so you guys went to medieval times and had a great time 
And then what else did you do Dallas weekend? Oh, well, then Gavin had to go back. He and Meg had another thing they had to go to. So uh, the rest yeah. of us, the next day, went horse racing at the horse track, which I've, you know, oh. I've done gambling on horses in Vegas at the sports book, but I'd never been to a horse track before. And, and man, mm-hmm. let me tell you, I had an impression of what it was, and that impression was wrong. I had an impression yeah. of a bunch of like grizzled old dudes with five o'clock shadow wearing like checkered jackets with like racing forms in their hands, smoking cigarettes and being half homeless and just looking dirty and like throwing papers on the ground every time they lose and like clinging to tickets. And it was actually really fucking nice, like gorgeous. The food was amazing. It, it was it, we were sitting inside. It was air conditioned. But one of the funniest things, well, two fucking awesome things happened. One point, one of the races that uh, Vanessa actually won and I got second place was they changed the results because they slowed it down. And they showed on the replay her jockey hit my jockey with his riding crop like three times. Whack, 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 like attacked him. And so they disqualified that dude. And I ended up winning a race that I didn't initially win. Uh, wow. And then the other thing that happened is on the last race, as they like put the horses in the stanchion, one of the horses did not want to go into like the starting gate and he like reared up and he mm-hmm. knocked his rider off and then he slammed into the horse next to him, which knocked that horse's rider off. And then he turned around and just fucking left and took off <laughs> down the track going backwards the wrong way. He went about, I'd say half of a track and then he just took off through a gate like an open gate, and disappeared off into the woods somewhere. And all the other riders and everybody turned around to go find him. And everybody in the place is just laughing and watching this happen. And like 10 minutes later, they bring the horse back up. And I would have thought like, well, that horse is a scratch. There's no way they're going to be able to race with this horse. He's probably tired from uh, all that running. And they tried to put him back in again. Horse did the same fucking thing. Took off, mm-hmm. uh, swung around, ran backwards uh, down the track, <laughs> wrong way, took off, uh, like went through the gate, and that was it. The guy just walked up and just took his name down from the sign, and then the rest of the horses ran. But like two other horses wouldn't race after that, so it was, it was a whole thing. <laughs> you know why the horse ran away? He didn't want to race. Saw a cell phone? It's from Medieval Times. He's trying to go back to Medieval Times. He's trying to get He's back not to a Medieval Times horse. He didn't know this world. <laughs> He's not a Medieval Times He didn't know this world. He saw a phone. He saw a modern thing. He saw a hat. They have hats. A bucket hat and was like, this isn't this isn't where I live. I don't know what a bucket hat is. They had hats in the olden times. He heard Taylor Swift and he had to retrieve or run back to home. Not retrieve, but retreat. It's fine, but I'm right. The horses have a different experience. <laughs> I put the picture up of how how close. Oh, that's oh like my on god! The plate. Oh, you guys. That is. Oh, I didn't realize ridiculously close. He oh, wasn't. Yeah. Li- yeah, he wasn't lying. It was about five feet, and uh, just this, the wafts right in our face. <laughs> wow. It was fucking awesome. That's amazing. <laughs> It was a great experience. I uh, I definitely, I highly recommend anybody uh, go see a Medieval Times show. It's very fun. So then that was, that was the big Dallas weekend. But then uh, we celebrated uh, your birthday the next day. Well, I mean, we kind of, it was more just I wanted to get that achievement and it just happened to be on my birthday. And so it seemed appropriate. Wait, so you have the, did you get the achievement? Uh, I sat down to get the achievement, but uh, with Gavin and Eric were there, and Emily and Millie, of course, and then uh, uh, Superfan Vanessa. Uh, and I looked up some stuff. Uh, I got the I, I the achievement came out December eleventh, twenty nineteen, mm-hmm. and so uh, three years, six months, and seven days after that day, I got the achievement. Hey! Wow! <laughs> yeah, it was a real that's amazing, real underwhelming thing. I just. I had to hit three buttons and then it was like he boop. made us <laughs> he made us stand around on his birthday so we could watch him get the achievement and we all had to clap and film it. <laughs> nah, none of that happened. None of that happened. <laughs> none of that. Gavin, did, Gavin, were we all there? Did we film it? I filmed it and I was unironically clapping. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, but I didn't demand any of that. I didn't ask. No, for that. Was- on his birthday, he made us gather so he could play his video game. <laughs> he made us watch and we had to film it. Oh, the birthday. And then Eric yeah, got really impressed with Smeg. I just think it's weird that something's called Smeg and it's in your kitchen. <laughs> what? It's just What is Smeg? It's it's a line of products, is that right, Gavin? It's like an appliance brand. Yeah, I think it's like a was it like an Italian company that makes kitchen shit? Yeah. Uh, I think okay. it was a was it a kettle? Tea kettle, yeah, it, yeah, and it it just said, it just said smeg, which <laughs> to me is very we weird, I guess. Um, <laughs> it's just too close of a name to. It's just gross, and I think it's weird that that's what it's called. Um, too close to what? 
uh Meg, I guess. No, like Smegma. Like, yes, it's that. And it's Well, I'd it's say it's weird. pretty on the money. Like you like Smeg is short uh-huh. for Smegma in conversation. It basically just is Smeg. Right. So that's so you walk into a kitchen and you just see that and you go, I don't want to know what's in it. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> See, and that's fair. Yeah, right. That's all I'm saying. Yeah. You know, yeah. Nick says yucky, and that's that's all I was thinking. I think, and this is a, a dumb qualifier, but I don't want it on curved products because I don't know necessarily that it stops at the G in what you just said. That's all now, I'm saying. If it's like that's all I'm saying. A fridge mm-hmm. or like an oven where I can see everything and it's up front, and it's flat, it's there. But as soon as you add curvature, smeg becomes a real. Like product. if you can't verify the lack of ma around the corner, <laughs> yeah. But- I don't know if there's anything beyond that G, depending on the angle I'm at when looking at that thing. And that could be a real issue. Well, I go. agree with Eric on this. Well, thank you. Hey. Uh, yeah. Go ahead, Gavin. Well, if Jeff, if I got you in the same font, some little metal cutouts of M.A., would you would you put them on? Probably. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. A hundred percent. Because I know you won't do it. Yeah, for sure. Oh, OK. And if you do do it, I had to. I actually had to. I actually the M on mine is a little. Uh, Caddy Wampus because it just popped off one day, so I super glued it back on. <laughs> <laughs> Said Seg for a while. Yeah. Oh, I like Seg. That's a good product name. Yeah, but on I a cur- on a curved thing, it might say Sega. That's so. true. <laughs> yeah. Oh, that's yeah. That's worse. You don't even know. And Smegma. Using the internet without ExpressVPN is like checking in your baggage at the airport without a lock. You think your stuff is kept private, but you never know who's going through your panties, hemorrhoid cream, and sex toys. There are all sorts of reasons why people should have a VPN. One of the ones that comes to mind is when you don't use one and you browse the internet, internet service providers can see exactly your search information and and get all sorts of data from you that they will profit and use that information to sell. Um, Other reasons is you browse more anonymously. When you use ExpressVPN, ISPs cannot see your online activity. Your identity is anonymized by a secure VPN server. Your data is also encrypted for maximum protection. And it's so easy to use. You just fire up the app and click one button. It also works on a huge range of devices. All devices, even. Phones, laptops, even routers. So everyone who shares your Wi-Fi can be protected. I also love ExpressVPN because of the ability to view other content libraries. I have been unable to watch the spelling bee without it, which is one of my favorite events of the year. But because of ExpressVPN, I can see it, and it's awesome. I love it so much. Uh, so secure your online activity by visiting expressvpn.com slash face today. That's expressvpn.com slash face, and you can get an extra three months free. Expressvpn.com slash face. To me, summer is all about kicking back, relaxing, enjoying some good music. Whether I want to listen to Empire State of Mind on repeat or just need to retreat inside my own head for a bit, I love creating my own summer soundtrack by popping in my Raycon wireless earbuds. There's so much going on all summer. Sometimes you need some upbeat music to pump you up before you see people or to stay calm with some guided meditation. I listen to all sorts of things on my Raycons from rain sounds, podcasts, you name it. It's great. No matter what it is, the quality is fantastic. And let me tell you right now, Raycons are the best way to listen. Use earbud tap functions to toggle between three customizable sound profiles, noise isolation, and awareness mode. Raycons have 32-hour battery life, including eight hours of playtime, so you can listen to what you want, when you want, for a really long time. They come with custom gel tips for the most comfortable in-ear fit. They start at half the price of other premium audio brands, but they sound just as good. And Raycons come with a 45-day happiness guarantee, so you really can't lose. Create your own soundtrack with Raycon. Right now, f- face listeners can get 15% off their Raycon order at buyraycon.com face. That's buyraycon.com face to save 15% on Raycons. Buyraycon.com face. This ad is brought to you by HelloFresh, America's number one meal kit. Take a bite out of summer with HelloFresh. From chef-crafted seasonal recipes to their new fresh and fit summer menu, HelloFresh brings flavor right to your door. Pre-portioned ingredients helps cut down on food waste, while step-by-step instructions make cooking a breeze, not a chore. Make your home the hangout place this summer with crowd-pleasing eats, 
from a backyard bratwurst bar to tangy key lime pie, HelloFresh Market makes summer entertaining a cinch. I love HelloFresh. It's just such a great service. You get the box of food. The recipes are accessible. It's always delicious. I would highly recommend it to anyone. So go to HelloFresh.com slash Face50 and use code Face50 for 50% off plus free shipping. That's HelloFresh.com slash Face50 and use code 50 for 50% off and free shipping. You will not regret it. It's such a great service. It's one of my favorite things. It's, it's awesome. So use the promo code HelloFresh.com slash Face50 and get 50% off plus free shipping. I'm surprised they never made game consoles into kitchen appliances, just so you could like have stealth consoles. That, that was always the thing with me as a kid, where I'd be like, I want to I wanna get an Xbox, and, it, and my parents would be like, that's ugly, disgusting. But if it looked like <laughs> but it, a kettle, <laughs> if it was a Sega kettle. What? Okay. What do you mean? Okay, I will say, I never would have agreed with you. I think that that's goofy until... The PS5 is out now, and it is the legitimately <laughs> worst-looking game console they have that anyone has ever made. It doesn't go for, with anyone's living room. It's too big. It is goofy as hell. I'm if if it looked like a tea kettle, Gavin, I'm with you. Absolutely, it looks day like one. a it looks like a router or a like a cable modem from the mid 2000s. Right, ugly as hell, and so big. Yeah. You have to take yours out of the box to see it. It looks like it should have Nextel on the side of it. I'm just trying to imagine a tea kettle with like analog sticks. Like, how does that? No, it wouldn't be the controller. Well, it would be all in one, wouldn't it? If it's the console, I feel like you're setting up a switch situation. You'd be plugging a controller into it. So where do you oh, see? Okay. Where do you see? <laughs> and the controller would look like a whisk. <laughs> is the <laughs> is the tea kettle connected to a TV? Yeah. Okay. But I mean, when you weren't playing it, you could just pop it in the kitchen, and it would be fine. Gotcha. And you think okay, that that was the barrier? <laughs> <laughs> Wait. Yeah, when you're also, not. We you wanted to work as a tea it? kettle. <laughs> what? Yeah, is it a tea kettle? Uh, no. Or is it just shaped like a tea kettle? It just looks like one. So you want? Then why would you put it in the kitchen? Right. So you want <laughs> someone to maybe mistake it for a tea kettle? No. Well, look, <laughs> look. My parents don't mind having a kettle in the kitchen, but they did mind a big ugly Xbox. In the, in the kitchen? Yeah. Oh, no, okay. would, they, would they mind a kettle in the living room? Just on a table? <laughs> well, would I'm they gonna, be okay with that? I bet they would. Look, I'm starting to realize maybe it shouldn't stealth kitchen stuff. It should be like a, it should look like a VCR. <laughs> oh, <laughs> thing. What, so you want to have a VCR in your kitchen? <laughs> <laughs> All right, let's go off the rails. <laughs> what if it looked like a stealth table and you could just put stuff on it as well? What about that? Oh, yeah, if it was like the coffee table? Yeah, if it looked like a coffee table. Banger idea. There you yeah. go. Yeah. Perfect. Perfect. Yeah, but why does, why does your coffee table have an <laughs> HDMI port? <laughs> Could you imagine trying to take your console to like a friend's house? <laughs> you got to strap a full table to your back. This is just like the least portable thing ever. I wonder. Disaster. Yeah, I think I might try and hide a, hide a console in something. I'll, I'll get in the lab. You do. I like the idea of something as physically large as a table, but the weight of a game console. The annoyance of that, <laughs> how much space it would take up, midnight launches where people are just like carrying tables out of a bit. It's great. What a terrible idea. Where would you put the HDMI ports on the table? Is it on a leg? Is it on the bottom? Oh, probably just on the back. On the back? Yeah. So below? Yeah, like under the lip of the, of the top. Okay. Nick sent us I a see. video game ta coffee table right there. Oh. Wait. Well, that just looks like Amazon. a giant... <laughs> Sega Genesis. Sega Pixel Genesis. Art Studios. I would say that think, takes my parents' problem and really amplifies it. Yeah, yeah I'm going to say yeah. th this, Nick, might be the opposite oh. of what we're It's a looking table for. that looks like a Sega Genesis. <laughs> right, which yeah, is, again, the to... opposite. That's like an Xbox that actually makes tea. <laughs> <laughs> Although, if it was, what if it was an Xbox? What if that's what your Xbox looked like? Now, that would be pretty stealthy. You would not expect that. <laughs> Oh, they have many of them. Nick Nick keeps linking us to coffee tables that look like video game stuff. Nick, this is the opposite. <laughs> we don't want this. Maybe yeah, over. That's what he said. No, I do. He said I do problem. want it, but not. 
Look at that Zelda cartridge table. What a shit table. I don't, that looks terrible. Okay, I think my wife would hate that so much that she would get rid of me. So which one of these coffee tables, let's say you have to take one of these home. Which one are you taking home? There's oh, I a, have to take for one? For the audience, I mean, there's a, there's a, there's a NES controller, there's a Super Mario 3 cartridge, there's a Zelda 64 cartridge, there's a Game Boy... Uh, there is a uh, what is that? PlayStation One and the NES, and then a Super Nintendo controller. I would do the Super Nintendo, but I'd have to repaint the buttons to the the correct colors. The Super Nintendo controller is like the worst one. Why? You've got no. Because it's all you, the different layers. Yeah, look at all like the raised points and everything. Yeah, they're they're perfect for mugs. I well, you, you do yeah, have you make four the permanent that coasters. The buttons are there. coasters. <laughs> yeah. So when you're when you have four people sitting around the right side of your coffee table, you've got yeah. four easy coasters. And you see uh, start and select. <laughs> they look like TV remote holders to me. Perfect. Well, but they're <laughs> they're fist. What do you? <laughs> Why are you trying to hide all your products? <laughs> <laughs> what are you doing? Hidden in plain sight. Why, why does everything need to be sneaky? <laughs> oh, you want the you want the TV remote? Fucking shove your hand into the start <laughs> button. It's in there. <laughs> why are you trying to hide everything? Um, as the oldest of us, Jeff, which one would you pick? Uh, I'm probably going with the with the PlayStation One, just because it looks like you can open up the disc uh, <laughs> tray and probably store stuff in there. What are you going? What <laughs> you put like a couple blankets or whatever you know you might need when it gets cold. <laughs> Extra pillow. <laughs> oh. That's what I'm doing. I have um I've prepared a clip this week, oh, and it no. uh, it's a sad clip. Oh no! I've realized um, as I get older, I'm I'm becoming more Jeff-like. Yeah, well, yeah. Okay, I can see why this would make you sad. <laughs> what do you see? Oh, at some point we should probably talk about the discovery we made on Monday when we were all together. Okay, so uh, it's a it's a couch with cashews. It's a cashew couch. Shoe. Yeah. Now is this couch a tea kettle or? No, no, playing <laughs> just a couch. Box couch. What okay. you're seeing here, this is just from one of my, uh, it's from one of my cameras, and it doesn't have sound, so I added some sound on to uh, help illustrate the point. Uh, I dropped a, a can of drink that I was drinking, and it made a little bulge in the in the top, and um, I was halfway through drinking it, and it kept like sticking me in the lip. I was like, oh. so I tried to push it down, but if you push the top of a can quite hard, sometimes the entire can just completely buckles, and this is uh, this is what happened to me the other night. Oh. <laughs> Come on. So, <laughs> so the top so of the you're can pushing into the can. The top of the can didn't push in. The entire side of the can uh, buckled, forcing all the liquid up into my nose and eyes. And I just thought, wow, that's the, the kind of stuff Jeff would do in front of me uh, when he was <laughs> around my age. And well, it's just I, happening slowly. I think I've passed the torch. <laughs> yeah, thanks for that. Enjoy the next 10 years. I can't wait to get a, <laughs> a bottle cap stuck Dude, on my like eye. it looked like you got orca blasted <laughs> like you're just in your living room. The sound effect that was that great. was phenomenal. And I was talking to... Meg, Meg was like reading something to me at the time. And I'm just like... Bluff, bluff. <laughs> like I'm coming out like I'm drowned. And she's like, what is wrong? <laughs> what is wrong with you? <laughs> There's a bunch of water splashes all over the floor. Oh, that's great. That's awesome. Oh, man. So you guys made a discovery? Yeah. So when we were all together, we got onto the conversation about... Um, I don't know if we've talked about this much on the the podcast, but we have been working this kind of uh, this uh, supplemental idea uh, in the background of us doing like a sports competition thing where we have a tournament and then we declare a winner. It'd be video game based, mm -hmm. but um, it'd be we declare a winner. We were trying to figure out what the winner should get. And Andrew, you had an idea that I thought was really brilliant. Your idea was that we take the we put all of our birthplaces on a map and then we draw equal you know lines to where they all intersect. Mm -hmm. And at that center point in the middle of all of our birthplaces, 
uh, wherever that landmass is, we go there and we buy a billboard or we, you know, mm-hmm. rent a billboard and then we put a congratulations, like congratulations, Nick, uh, <laughs> you own the tournament, you won, you, you won the tournament, right? And then we were thinking it could be even be funnier if wherever it is, like let's say it's like Boise, Ohio, uh, Ohio, Idaho. Uh, Boise is not in Ohio. <laughs> Uh, the Boise, Idaho, you go like, like Boise's favorite son, Nick, wins the tournament or whatever. <laughs> As if he's like a local homegrown hero that nobody's ever <laughs> fucking heard of. And we just put that we just put that thing up. Well, we decided uh, to triangulate that point with all of our uh, oh. with all of our birthplaces. And we haven't shared that information with you yet, Andrew, because the results were surprising. Um, no, I don't think I'm the best person to explain the math behind it from this point on. If Eric okay. or Gavin would rather, um, we had to enlist Millie. Oh, yeah, it's true. Millie helped a lot. <laughs> Millie was mostly <laughs> the one who did this, uh, and was very good at it. We took the cities, took the lat- latitude, longitude of those cities and uh, mm-hmm. found what our equidistant birthplace is. Okay. Unfortunately, <laughs> um, one of us was born not in North America. Out of bounds. made this incredibly <laughs> difficult. <laughs> yeah, I'm really... Incredibly uh, difficult. <laughs> so I really ruined it, this. We did it two ways. If mm-hmm. we were to do it uh, where we weighed everybody equally... It ends up putting us somewhere. Well, we'll get to that last. I think it's somewhere. Yeah, I I agree. So what we ended up doing was taking, I think, all of North America, finding the equidistant point there, and then doing that against Gavin's. Right? Is that yeah. how we ended? Yeah. And then so we did that, and then okay. found a place. I don't know if we want to say the city yet, in case we end up using this, but um, we found a place. And it doesn't have a big population, and there's not a lot going on, and it seems like prime real estate for a billboard for a show. Yeah, that people that none of the people that live there know exists or listen to. Let's so. let's just say there's a place in Middle America uh, that has a population of about 900 people who has no idea that their favorite son is going to get a billboard in a few months <laughs> right. when we do this competition, uh, and that, which we we also got to thinking, what if and Gavin, I want to talk to you about this. Uh, what if we bought a piece of land there? Just like really cheap land. You could probably get land for mm. pennies on the dollar there. And we just bought like an acre. And then that became the center of the <laughs> universe. Then we could build like an obelisk, kind of like the cool ones I saw from Egypt in Rome, <laughs> that says like face center of the universe. Kind of like when you go and stand on the four po- where you're in four states at one point at that one place in America. And then it just becomes like a shrine, <laughs> kind of like the Prada store over in Marfa. It just becomes a shrine that people can make like pilgrimages to, to go see and hopefully not deface. <laughs> I wonder what the locals would think about that. It's like this big monument to f- face, even I though mean, it, none of the members have ever heard of it or set yeah, for that. <laughs> yeah. But what you're describing is we're going to essentially make wild, wild country. We've moved into this small, peaceful <laughs> town, this outside force. And they don't like it, but there's nothing illegal it's, about what's happening. No, all we're gonna do, all we're gonna do, is put a concrete statue up on our land, <laughs> uh, okay. just on our land, and then that's it. I love it. this idea. Uh, so anyway, yeah, we we should hold off on on saying where that place is. Yeah. yeah. Uh, the, I mean, okay. Well, I mean, it's not hard to figure out based on you set up how to find it, and it seems pretty easy. Here's the thing. It, whatever we ended up finding is going to be the place. And when people do it right and end up in a different place, that's on them. Yeah, okay. we're not going to so, have that argument. We did it our way, and it's this This is enough. right to us. Yep. Well, do you want to talk about where our, like, because we had to round up to a, uh-huh. a piece of land. So the <laughs> if, if you do it waiting all the, all the birth locations uh, e- uh, evenly, it puts us in the ocean. <laughs> it, honestly, it puts us almost right on top of the Titanic. <laughs> <laughs> no here's uh no. here, i'm gonna i'm gonna post a photo no i'm gonna post a fucking photo <laughs> it is it is so andrew it is, you're no. not ready for how close it is it's uh it's insane we're <laughs> uh, at the titanic uh, yeah hold on a second i gotta God, i got a lot of fucking oh man that's a really hot spot right now too <laughs> it's Fuck. It, it was it was a weird realization because you know all the Titanic shit was going on <laughs> at the time and we're just standing there like, is this fucking real? 
<laughs> is the Titanic the most high profile <laughs> face? Is it a face? The count? <laughs> So the flag, the little green flag there, and this will be on the the Instagram, obviously, is the oh my God. is us, yep. and the red dot That's is the so location close. of the Titanic. <laughs> that is crazy. <laughs> no. So we thought briefly, well, we move it up to the closest landmass, and then I guess we put a billboard in Labrador or Nova Scotia. And we, <laughs> that, that just we gave up on that idea immediately. Uh, yeah. So if, if the equidistant point between all of our birthplaces is the Titanic. <laughs> it's close enough to the Titanic that if we did have a billboard there, it would have been the last thing many people saw. Yeah. It is too close. It's too close. It is on top of it almost. That's yeah. crazy. Obviously not, wow. not looking to make light of recent tragedy, but uh, wow, what a stunning discovery. Also discovered that on the same day that they showed the controller that uh, the guy was oh, using, yeah. which was like a Mad Cat's <laughs> controller, which had like not which had uh, extra thumbsticks. That looked pretty uh, similar to the thumbsticks Gavin designed. And probably be a terrible table. <laughs> oh, awful table. Terrible. Yeah. terrible. <laughs> how how is your thumbstick journey going, Andrew? So I started it. Um I I cleared, I got the first win that I needed, so I'm now going to approach the thumbsticks. I received them all. Gavin was also kind enough to include a, a lightning cable. So that resolved that whole oh. issue. I've been using the AirPods as well. Well, I see like you were it sounded like you only had one or you were short of Okay. Yeah, I didn't know where it was. Yeah. I, I I hadn't found the. It was in a different egg somewhere. It was and and, and, yeah, and I'm, in a different egg. If I can ever prevent someone from buying a lightning cable, I'll do it. I've got like forty of them. I, I oh, it, like it I, pains me that people buy new ones. Just mm. you know, get in it, touch. I'll, I'll send you one. It honestly, it it was, it was great to have. Charge it up. Sleeping with the rain in my ears. It's been a game changer. I got storms going on. I feel like because I also I pulled the fan out, so I got a breeze on my face. I feel like I'm in like a four ZX experience. Like I'm looking into if I could get like an automated spray bottle, maybe get some liquid going as well to really get the full Dude, experience. It sounds like you're sleeping in a rain in a rainforest cafe. Yeah, it is. Yeah, that's sort of the dream, I guess. Well, how do you feel about the fourth dimension? Oh, uh, it's great. It it is added a whole layer. I get cooler, like I get really into the whole experience. It's like, ooh, it's chilly. There's a big storm out there. I gotta stay underneath these bundled covers. <laughs> big wind going by. Gotta lock in. So it's been great. So is this the most but advanced yeah. sleep experience you've ever had? Uh so far I'd say it is, and I have been looking. I do I don't it's tough to find like an automated spray bottle that you could schedule. Because I just want like some <laughs> random spritz during the night just to like really <laughs> Add into the experience. Like I haven't been able to figure out a way to automate that, unfortunately. But there has to be a way, right? Because at the grocery store, they got the spritzers that like go on and off for a brief time to keep the vegetables fresh and cool. Yeah. Give them some water. You're uh, trying to live to a, a grocery store experience? No, I just want some rain, just a little bit of mist. I want some mist in my life. But <laughs> a very, a very like confined specific mist. Because my partner would fucking hate this. I'm not trying to get the whole bread bed drenched with water. Yeah, you don't want collateral. No, I just want my my little zone. Maybe we need a little smart spritzer. I will say it is. I felt so bad recently with my fan setup, uh, and also like being congested and stuff. When I sneeze, my instinct is to sneeze away. So the fan's on my right. <laughs> the rest of the bed is to my left. I have sneezed at us like four <laughs> times in the past week, and I it's I feel awful about it, but it's it's unavoidable. I need to adjust my sneeze instinct because I end up sneezing directly into the fan, and then it just blasts back. That's been a real disaster. Well, that so kind of does sneeze? that kind of does what you want with the spritzing, though. You kind of uh, self spritz. I've, I've been sneezing into myself has been the new the new sneeze I've been trying to get used to. Just sneezing into me. Yeah, I think by default I'm a. Sort of an inner elbow sneezer. I'm an inner elbow sneezer too, but I always like tilt away from the person as well, and it's uh, <laughs> it's, it's been a problem. Um, so I've been four zxing, but I guess with the <laughs> controller, I've been streaming on my my Twitch account uh, at Andrew Panton. If you want to watch, I'm going to start more regularly soon. Got my first win on the base sticks. Now we're on level uh, one. I think they're one inch sticks. I think it goes up to nine inches overall. It's going to be a real problem quickly because I can barely hold the controller with the one inch sticks. I thought I'd have a little bit more. Are you serious? Uh, space. Yeah. From like. Yeah. Well, he does that. He does the... that claw thing. So that. Oh, might... yeah. Yeah. 
I yeah, for like how I fold my hands. So, so how are we gonna? Um, how are we gonna? Um, like, what's gonna be the proof that you're using them? Well, there. I mean, it's just I'm using them. We established <laughs> that. I'm gonna take photos of them. <laughs> what do you want? Well, there's there's nothing on the stream to say that's what's happening. Well, no, I, I indicate what I'm doing. You can't verify, I guess, what I'm doing. So we just no. we just have to trust you. Hmm. You just have to trust me. But that was established before. It's crazy that you're asking this question now. Well, I mean, hand cam? Well, go How am I going to do a hand cam? GoPro on your head looking problem. down? Oh. <laughs> GoPro looking But I... Hmm. Like, logistically. I mean, I'm basing this entirely on your original... Okay, no, but here's the problem. Egg one. Okay, hand cam, hand cam works for now. Right? That makes sense. I can do hand cam now. Yeah. Because I can hold the controller. When we get to the point where I'm having to use my chin <laughs> to steer and using other, how am I going to capture that? I think whatever you get what, will be phenomenal. Yeah. <laughs> Stick the GoPro to the TV point. facing at you. <laughs> no, I Nobody th needs that. No, I think we can. I think, <laughs> I even think it's if, all we need, man. If it's, a, if it's like a head cam and then you end up just like filming... Okay, but I'm streaming through my Xbox. How am <laughs> well, I getting... That's your problem. Well, where's the... Where, where's this feed coming in from? <laughs> no, that's a good point. Uh, I'm not opposed. I just don't know how to make that work. Can I do that? I feel like Maybe I should I, have also well, put in a cam link and a little GoPro. Mm. What if... I, might, I have a Kinect somewhere. I'll look into... Can I still use the Kinect? Does that work? Ooh. I bet, I bet be that would work, but having a connect on your head might be <laughs> more of a challenge with <laughs> the thumbsticks. Listen, we've been over... I got a lot of real estate up here, okay? I can carry a thing or two. I, I, got, I got a few items I can hold with this thing. If you win a game of Warzone oh. with a <laughs> six-inch thumbstick and a connect <laughs> sellotape to your head, I will lose my shit. That'd be the best thing I've ever seen. I will need to get a helmet that fits my head. I guess that would be the way. Yeah. And I'd strap in, although that could reduce area of my chin. See, I'll, I'll see the thing so is, get... the, um, the honor rules are fine to those who know what you're doing, right? But potentially, you know, there, you know, there might be a bit of virality to what you're doing. And uh, I think a, lot, a nice visual will really help illustrate that mm. to a passing audience. I don't care about that, though. That's not... Oh. <laughs> that's secondary, though. Give... Okay. <laughs> I don't care if anyone sees well, this. Well, I think it would enrich in the experience of, of, the, of the comment leavers and the regulation listeners, though. To get to see the, the master handwork, you know? If we just had a hand cam. <laughs> oh, God. Yeah. Okay. I mean, a webcam. We'll figure it out. Why are you streaming through your Xbox for a start? You have stuff. No, I don't. No, I don't. Oh. Uh, that's, I don't. It, it broke a long time ago. I don't have... If I had stuff, we would have done video game stuff. Well, this would have been a great thing to know before I spent sixty dollars. We've talked about this. Freaking sending stuff already. We've talked about it. It's, that's not on me. That's on you. I'm sure We've it is. I'm sure I've forgotten. Oh, huh. I guess James Harden is gonna pick up his option for thirty five million dollars and then explore trade options. He's just, just saw that seventy six years. Don't know. Trust the process, Jeff. Trust the process. Do you know if James Harden has a connect? Dude, do you think I can't find mine? Do you think there are still Connect fans out there that are still like logging in and using the Connect every day? I I feel like the Connect generally speaking is agreed as like a kind of pointless device, but the last time I brought it up in conversation I was like, yeah, fuck the Connect and everybody in the room loved really? it. Really? I was like, where am I? I feel like what am I they're doing? still in use a lot, but none of them are connected to Xboxes. Like yeah, I've seen them used right. in like other like IR tracking stuff. So that's, I was going to say, I've seen it a real uptick. I don't know why, but on TikToks of people going like, here's everything that I use it for that isn't an Xbox. And a lot of it is taking like 3D images for 3D printing. Like a oh, lot of yeah. it is that, which I, I thought was very, very interesting. And I'm like, wow, this is really incredible. And they're like, it also does facial recognition really well. And nothing mm. ever used it for that on the Xbox. It's just like, wow, this has like so many uses but it sucked. <laughs> really good for finding ghosts. 
as well. Yeah, it's oh, a great yeah. ghost tracker. Yeah. So yeah. I don't know, Jeff, you want to get Haunter three. going again or whatever and grab a couple connects? <laughs> I'm, I'm all right. I, I think my haunting days are over. My haunting We could days. easily do a quick haunt with four yeah. helmet <laughs> connects. <laughs> if, if we're ever going to bring the show back, I only want to do it with around. helmet connects. <laughs> I'd love to figure out how to capture the video from a Kinect because now the Xboxes don't even have that port. They don't. You need like yeah, an adapter. External. Oh god. Yeah. <laughs> I like the idea though of us just walking around a house with Kinects on our head, verifying for people not haunted. Your house is fine. No ghosts. <laughs> All good. We scanned it. We scanned the space. Right. That's one hundred percent of the houses we would go inspect. That would be the show. Is just going. <laughs> Nope, no ghosts here either. <laughs> and that would be it. So, Andrew, does the streaming from Xbox, does it allow the use of a Kinect to, uh, like, pip, pip in something? I don't know. Because if that looked at if that. If that's possible, Maybe. I'm glad I didn't send you any capture devices, because I think the Kinect angle will be phenomenal. I'll look into it today. I, I can't see them wanting to support the Kinect, considering how it went, but maybe it's still there. I'm not sure. <laughs> I hope it is. <laughs> what a disappointing device. I was so excited for the Kinect. What about this? You, <laughs> you stream to my computer, and then I'll stream that feed to Twitch, and then you video call me, and I'll pip that in. Job, job's good. <laughs> <laughs> I will compile says, your stream and stream it from you. I'm trying to rep, so I... Stream on Twitch. I stream. I'll open your stream on Twitch and I'll capture that. Okay. And I'll uh, then you video call me from from your head. On a connect. No, yeah, yeah, or or from whatever, like a phone taped okay. to your head, and I'll I'll capture that too, and I'll combine them and stream it. I mean, okay. that seems like the way to do it. What about <laughs> could, what about this? What if I stream and while I'm streaming. You stream your hands doing it, and it's a dramatic recreation of what's <laughs> like a real time reenactment of what's yeah. happening. You're an idiot. Like an eight, you know, like when a true crime <laughs> happens, and like they have the footage that doesn't really line up. You're a fool. <laughs> I'm a fool. You just you just streamed. I stream. You stream. We all stream. <laughs> You're saying you just said <laughs> it's a dramatic recreation, but it's happening concurrently. <laughs> yeah, he's reinterpreting. He's looking at the moves. He's trying to figure out what's going on. So the bit, the bit that I sent you, which is my favorite bit, the bit that makes it unique, <laughs> I'm doing. <laughs> no, I'm doing. I am doing, but you're showing how it may you're, be done. You're just right, the you're visual representation also. of it. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. You're not actually doing anything. You're not on the battlefield. There's okay? no you're batteries in your enemies. controller. <laughs> There's no risk that's happening in your life right the, now. You're the not idea is that you watch Andrew play Xbox and you grab a controller <laughs> and pretend that you're playing Xbox. Yeah. <laughs> you know how, like, Parents do with their kids sometimes, or they give them a controller that's not like connected to anything. It's like, ah, you're doing great, but you are looking at the footage and interpreting it as it happens. You're a fool. Figure out your connect. Get a hand cam. How am I gonna film my hand? Once again, we talked. You and I had this conversation on text. When I get to the point where I'm using my head, there is no angle that's gonna make this work. That's what's it's gonna be like trying to shoot around a planet. Is what I told you, and I said it will be by. like really up close it'll be out of focus it'll be of like what's behind your controller it'll be phenomenal it'll just be a desk okay it'll be a desk yeah that doesn't play games it's just a desk it's a boring desk it's not a tea kettle <laughs> it's a terrible desk. i think as someone who is all about the content i think you definitely would appreciate how funny it would be to have a camera on your head i'm gonna figure it out but if i don't <laughs> till then i'll be streaming I'll be streaming it. I'll be completing the thing that you'll say I didn't do. And we'll we'll just take your word for it. As a baseline. Games will be played. You know what I play like normally? You can tell. I don't think I could fake what six inches of stick. <laughs> 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 oh, 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 oh. I don't know what that's like. <laughs> I actually. Oh. It'll be fun. I'm excited. I can't wait. It, it, I haven't had anything to watch since you were playing Donkey Kong. I sent it to you. I sent you to. You could have watched the VOD if you wanted to. I don't think you even knew there was a VOD. How do I? I how do I get on end. this email list? I want to see it too. 
uh, I'll just I'll send you a link. Thank you. I did watch briefly some of your first game, but I was also um, putting my like in the middle of putting my phone into a locker to do an escape room. So you, I was I was escaping from a room while you were doing that. Oh, well, that's fun. And then when I came out, it was did over. You escape? Yeah. Did you win? Nice. Now, when you're when you're streaming to Twitch uh, currently, are you talking or are you having somebody talk yeah. for you well, and then I'm interpret? Talking. In real time, what they no, think you would be I, saying. If we, if you want to do that though, if you want to handle the voice part, so well. I handle the voice part. Gavin handles the hand part, <laughs> and then <laughs> yeah, <laughs> you're you're slowly winning me over with this. Can, can you, if you're talking and streaming, if I join your voice chat, can I can I commentate with you? Yeah, yeah. If you join, I could make a party chat, and then you could you could talk. Oh hell yeah, let's do that. But you, it would be del- like. <laughs> Everything you see would be like six seconds behind. Oh. You can see my stream. Unless I made, is there a different stream that I, can I stream my TV to you in a faster way than what the Twitch delay is? I don't know. We'll figure it out. <laughs> I'm also, I don't stream either. <laughs> I don't have any of this information. <laughs> <laughs> oh, you can just plug in a webcam to a, an Xbox. Oh, well, there you go. Oh, that's less fun, but okay. What if you tape the webcam to the Kinect? <laughs> we used to... I, 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 one of my great regrets is the, we were doing house showings when I was younger and the Kinect was around. I really wish I would have streamed that. That would have been fun. <laughs> nobody would know. You get a little camera, a little live feed into what's going on, what people are saying. Like watch people perv in on your stuff? Yeah, like walking around and giving, giving comments <laughs> about my wall posters or whatever. Just being like, this space. What, what about this? I really wish I did that. It's one of my great regrets. <laughs> is that legal? I don't know. I have no idea. I guess it's, if it's your it's property. It's my space. It is my home. Yeah. It's, I feel like that's a weird gray area. Maybe you could uh, engage the services of that uh, law website we used to use. <laughs> oh, the judges? Yeah. yeah. Well, they're, they're biased against me. <laughs> I'm also one of them. So. I guess biased I against me. I'm, I'm one also of one of them. <laughs> Well, I had to become one of them because yeah, of the they box, hate me. They're so. me. <laughs> <laughs> all right, we need to wrap up. Jeff all right, Collins all right, all right. Uh, <laughs> there you, hold on a second. Time of death: four o two p.m. <laughs> Thursday, June 29th, episode one hundred and sixty-two of <laughs> Face has deceased. It is over. Uh, let's wrap it up and get home, boys. <laughs> I can't believe that we're the Titanic. The, we're the Titanic. We're the fucking Titanic. And we didn't see Crazy. it at first. It was it was later when they were watching like a news report or something. And Emily was like, that looks exactly like where you guys just put your pin. <laughs> yeah, I think in the video, I, I, I joked that we were like right on top of the Titanic. I actually have no idea what that was. <laughs> yeah. And I was inadvertently close. And then it was like much later we discovered it. Wow. Should I make that into a video? Yeah. Okay. I've got to do that. I've got to do throwing. I gotta do uh porta potty. You texted me, Jeff, that you made a, a great discovery that you wanted to share with me on the podcast. That was it. Great. That's and that'll be a really fantastic next episode. I already quit recording. I'm I'm not I'm not in this episode anymore. He's talking to he's just talking to Jeff. You quit great. recording? Well, we still have Craig. And I quit recording when I ended the episode. Oh. But it continued. It's never clear when anyone quits anything on this show. I don't know why you would do that. <laughs> That's a very definitive statement by you. Can I get a link? And cut. Hey guys, Major League fan Jack here with a look at next week's episode of Face. The Conk Republic's passport is the best. Falcor versus Gandalf. That guy from Kansas is a dick. Can you taste stuff inside your stomach? Do we need custom silly straws? Jeff gets new shoes. And once again, Andrew does not eat the pencil. All that and more on next week's episode of Face. <laughs>